Hello and welcome to another episode of Quick Cuts. I'm Josh with US Cutter and today we're gonna to be talking about our line of Titan vinyl cutters. I'm gonna be showing you the differences between each one of them. And then I'm gonna show you how to calibrate and perform a contour cut using the arms contour cutting feature of the Titan 3 vinyl cutter. And it's gonna be using the barcode scanning capabilities that it has now. First, you should know that we have three types of Titan. We've got the Titan 1 vinyl cutter that is going to be the basic one that has a stepper motor and then it doesn't have any arms contour cutting features or anything. It can still go up to 500 grams of pressure, so you can still cut pretty heavy duty with it. It's a great machine. Next, you have the Titan 2, and this is where we put a servo motor inside of it. It's going to be much quieter and its maximum pressure can go up to 700 grams. Just a little bit better than the Titan 1 with that servo motor, um, but it doesn't have the arms feature for contour cutting. Finally, we have the feature cutter of today, the Titan 3. Now this is the one that has the servo motor inside of it, as well as the arms contour cutting feature. When we use it with Vinyl Master, it can also do barcode scanning for extremely accurate contour cuts. And this is very helpful if you're gonna be doing large scale stuff. Now that we've discussed the differences, let's show you what's the same. All of the Titans connect to your computer using a USB cable and plug in to a standard three prong plug for any wall outlet here in the US. On top of the machine is a keypad that allows you to adjust the pressure and speed, as well as set the origin point for your machine. To do this, you're going to push the online offline button and put it in pause mode. Once in pause mode, you can use the up and down arrows to move the position of whatever's in the pinch rollers, like say your vinyl, and then the left and right buttons are gonna move the position of the blade holder. Once you're done and you have your origin point set, origin point being wherever you want your cutter to start cutting from, you're then going to press the OK button that has a little target on it and that's going to set your origin point. And you know it worked because it's going to go back to that main display screen where you can adjust your pressure and speed but it's not going to move the blade holder back to the original position. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and start with calibrating our Titan 3's contour cutting feature. First we want to load a blank piece of paper and the pin tool into our cutter. With the blank piece of paper, you can put it wherever. I'm just gonna stick it over here, but we wanna move the pin tool over to the center of it. Once you have your origin point set to the center of the piece of paper, we're gonna go back to Vinyl Master, and then inside Vinyl Master, we're gonna go up to the launcher icon, which looks like a space shuttle right here, and then we're gonna select Open Vinyl Spooler. Now once inside the vinyl spooler, we're going to click on Barcode Controller, which is located above the Connection tab. This is going to open the Automark Cutting Module. Next, we're going to click the cutter up here on the top. It's located next to the File button, and you should select the Auto Calibrate Laser Offset selection from there. It's going to then make a pop-up appear, and it's going to say Auto Calibrate Laser. Do you wish to proceed? Just click yes, and then we can go ahead and proceed. The cutter is gonna move around the page without drawing anything, just to test the area to make sure that it has enough room. Once it's done doing that, it's gonna ask you, are you ready to auto calibrate the laser on your computer? So you just wanna click yes again. The cutter is then gonna take some time to draw some lines, and then it's gonna scan them after a while. During the scan portion, there's gonna be a progress bar on the screen of the window that's gonna let you know how it's going. When it's finished processing, the screen is gonna say laser offset calibrated and show two numbers. Those are your X and Y offset values. Congratulations, you just calibrated your Titan 3. All right, so now let's do a test cut and see how that worked out. Once inside of Vinyl Master, you can see that I've already got my image loaded and positioned inside the center of the page. I'm using a .png file here, but when I click on my image, you're gonna notice that it has an outline appear around it. This is just confirming that you have the image selected. So once you have the image selected, we then want to move up to the upper toolbar and select the Contour Cut Apple from up top, and that's gonna bring a drop-down menu. From that, we wanna select the top option that says Create Cut Contour. This is gonna bring up a pop-up window that's gonna place a contour line around the outside of our design. Now, with this design, I wanna leave a white outline around the edge of it, so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Once I'm happy with the position of the line, I'm gonna click Accept, and then you can now see the contour cut line on the image. With both the image and the contour line selected, I'm gonna go back to the upper toolbar and click the contour cut apple again, but this time I'm gonna select the second option from the drop-down menu called contour cut wizard. We want to make sure that we have the correct vinyl cutter selected, and I'm gonna select my Titan 3 here, and as soon as I select it, you're gonna see that I have an option for checking the barcode marks that's in this little box right here. And that's what we're gonna use because it's gonna give us the best results. And for this example, I'm using a desktop printer. So I am selecting Print Direct and sending the print file directly to my desktop laser printer. What if you had a wide format printer? You would just select Save to 
PDF and then load the save PDF on your printer's RIP software and then print it. Once it's done printing, you're gonna bring it back into your vinyl cutter and then load up Vinyl Master and you're gonna pick up with us right here at this spot. So again, I'm printing to my desktop printer. So with direct print, I'm just gonna click print. And then once it's done, I'm sticking it on a sticky backer sheet because it's a small eight and a half by 11 inch sheet. And I wanna make sure it fits inside my cutter and doesn't shoot out. When I load it in, I'm gonna load it in as straight as possible. And then when back in Vinyl Master, we wanna click the add cut job button. And that's gonna prompt a pop-up asking us if we want to open the barcode controller. And we're gonna click yes. Once inside the barcode controller, you'll see an animated example of where you would set the origin point using the laser and keypad located on top of the machine. Once I've got the laser into the correct position, I'm gonna click start and it's gonna start doing its thing. You can watch the cutter live or you can turn around and watch the update on your barcode controller window on the computer. Congratulations, you now know how to perform the most accurate contour cut possible with your Titan 3. Remember, only the Titan 3 has the arms feature. The Titan 2 has a servo motor, but no arms feature for contour cutting. The Titan 1 is a stepper motor machine that doesn't have the arms feature either. With that being said, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact our sales team at sales at uscutter.com. Every single product that we sell here at US Cutter comes with free lifetime support even after the warranty is gone. And you can reach those support agents at support at uscutter.com. Be sure to check out some of our other videos. We've got plenty of other quick cut videos that are very helpful if you're just getting started with a vinyl cutter and a lot of other stuff too. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Be sure to subscribe or hit the like button. Have a wonderful day.